Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pro Bike Tool Upright Bike Floor Stand. When it comes to storing bikes, vertical stands are the most efficient option as they free up valuable floor space. Most vertical bike stands require drilling holes in the wall or are bulky designs that lean up against the wall. The Pro Bike Tool Vertical Floor Bike Stand is a unique hybrid combination that combines the portability of a floor stand that doesn't require any holes or any drilling with an upright design that actually holds your bike vertically. You can see packaging wise, really simple, has their nice cardboard box. Everything's printed directly on it, uh, directly with the black ink. This is a big box too, as it's a larger stand. You have all the contents of the bike, actually of the stand printed right on here with indicators of what they are. And then the instructions are essentially printed on here as well. So you can just follow the diagrams to put it together. Go ahead and take it out of the box and we'll go over the specs. So retail price on this is $60, so pretty affordable for what it is. It is an upright floor stand, so no drilling required. It has a height adjustable design, unlike some other floor stands that do vertical bikes. So it can actually be adjusted to accommodate different style bikes or heights of seat posts. It combines a plastic and metal construction and that'll support right up to 44 pounds or 22 kilogram bikes. So that should accommodate a lot of cruisers, road bikes, and maybe, uh, except for some heavier e-bikes, it should work with most bikes on the market. It also fits up to 2.3 inch wide tires, so pretty uh, flexible design. And it doesn't actually hold on your components or anything, just supports the wheel and the seat post. So a nice non-contact design that won't rub against any valuable components or mud guards or anything else. So very flexible. In terms of what comes with it, you can see it's quite a lot. So there's a lot of pieces here. You have the uh, feet extension, you have the main part. So you have the feet that go on here, the little rubber stands. You have the elastic strap, and this will actually support the front wheel and that'll prevent it from moving around. This thing even supports bikes with fenders. As you can see here, it doesn't actually touch anything, so as long as it doesn't uh, extend further than the bottom portion where the uh, wheel would sit, you should have no trouble. You have all the hardware you need, the little mounting plates. So some of these are plastic, as you can see, but they're quite strong. You can see this uh, dual layer design, this honeycomb, gives a little more rigidity. You have the different mounting bars, so the longer, shorter ones. And then the actual part that connects to your seat post would be this. And that's vertical with this nice rubber design. So pretty flexible. So it shouldn't damage anything. So now let's go over the assembly of the mount. You can see there's quite a few parts here, but they're all really nicely labeled. And then the instructions here are simply step one, two, three, all the way up to seven. It would have been nice if these diagrams were kind of blown up with a little bit uh, more text instead of putting them on one page. But you can see it's fairly straightforward. We have two legs, a short and a long one. Long one goes in the rear, short one goes in the front. We have the seat post mount, this longer vertical piece. That'll go down the center hole. And then you have some bolt attachments. And then it looks like a little piece underneath it uh, to secure it. So you can see combination of plastic, uh, metal arms, and these nice little hinged wheel holders. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll put the seat post mount with the bolt holes facing forward down into the hole. We'll take our long rear piece and then slide it through with the little indentation pointing downward. Now we'll take our arm piece for the bottom. I took off the top one as it's kind of in the way for this part. So now install the front piece. We have the two little uh, rubber spacers here. So put those on and then slide that in. You have the little rubber footings too. Simple plastic pieces, not the highest quality, but you can see a nice rubber design so it won't scratch your floor. And you just want to force these on. Next we'll take our bottom plate and use our three screws. You can see it has a little alignment pin. So put that through. And then you can see these are actually Phillips heads, which are not included. So you will need to get a screwdriver to complete the installation.
The final step is to put the C-post mount on and the bottom bolt. Once you have that in, the assembly is complete and you're ready to use the mount. Now let's take a look at the mount in action. All you need to do is roll the bike on there with a the rear tire and then flip it backwards until the seat post is on the support. They also have a little front wheel strap to hold it in place, but it actually balances. So you can see here, it's nice and vertical and perfectly stable. The legs are pretty wide too, so you can actually hit the mount and the bike won't fall, especially if you put the elastic wheel strap on. Taking it off is simply sliding it down and then rolling out forward. And then again, you can see those little hinged bottom mounts that really support the bottom wheel. And again, you just flip it up and flip it down. So really nice design and it's great to have this hybrid floor stand and vertical stand. To kind of give you a comparison of how this performs versus a vertical stand, as we have done the Pro Bike vertical swivel mount, you can see here we have the swivel mount on the wall. So the big difference with the wall mount is the fact that you can mount it tires forward. So it's more efficient design, but it does obviously require the hole. So you can see we have it on the swivel mount there. So it fits right up against the wall and you can see much more efficient than this vertical stand, which leaves the seat post sticking out. And just as a point of comparison, Pro Bike Tools normal floor stand here, tons of wasted space as it requires a lot of extra floor space and all that vertical space is just left open. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the upright floor stand. What we like about it is it has a metal construction, so really well designed as with a lot of Pro Bike Tool parts. It also has a portable design with that clever vertical storage, so it's really a hybrid between a floor stand and a vertical stand that doesn't require any holes. It also has a vertically adjustable seat post support, so that means it can support a wide range of bikes. And the main con for this kind of stand is that it may require removing the saddlebag or your taillight in order to sit on that seat post support. Taking everything into account would give the upright floor stand a 9.2 out of 10. It's a very clever hybrid mount that combines the portability of a floor stand with a space saving design of vertical storage. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com or follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.